Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to delete duplicate values in all versions of Excel, even pre-2007. And we'll do this using basic conditions as well as custom conditions that allow you to check for much more than just basic duplicates. And the last example for this tutorial will use a lovely little macro that is included in the downloadable file, so make sure you grab that. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. All right, first up, I'm going to show you how to do it in the newer versions of Excel. It's basically everything from 2007 and later. We have this great feature on the data tab called Delete Duplicates or Remove Duplicates. It makes our life so much easier. So just have your data set over here, click anywhere in it and go to the data tab, delete duplicates, and you get this awesome window. Once again, I do recommend having headers for your columns. So type color value, because then you get to see them down here, type color value. And what you're going to do is choose the column upon which you would like to check for a duplicate. So let's say that you only want unique colors to be here. We can uncheck type and uncheck value and hit OK. It's going to tell you how many duplicates were removed, six duplicate values found and removed, seven uniques remain. And you see none of the colors are repeated any longer. You will notice though that some of the values are repeated and some of the types are repeated. So let's say that you want unique on type. I'm going to hit Control Z to back this up, and that's another great thing about this. If you mess something up, just hit Control Z, undo it, and you'll be good to go. So let's go back here and say that we want unique on type. All right, we only get A, B, and C. <laughs> so you can see that you can very quickly knock your data down like this. Let's back it up, and now let's go unique on type and color. So I will go back here. And let's check type, check color, uncheck value. Hit OK. This time, four duplicates were found and removed. Nine uniques remain. So you can see some duplicate colors here. But across the columns, they are not duplicates. So blue and A, blue and B, red and A, red and B. So you include the columns, and essentially what it's going to do is concatenate the values and say, hey, is this unique compared to the other one? Yes, it is, because this is A in type, and this is B in type. doesn't matter that these are the same. Now, if that concept is a little bit confusing, just play around with this. Have a sample data set and play around with looking for duplicates and matching duplicates on one column versus another, or combining multiple columns. So right now, if I leave type, color, and value all checked, then it must be unique across the entire row. And this isn't always what you want. So for instance, a lot of data sets are not going to be exactly like this. They could have another column like this. Let's just call it the number column. And let's increment one, two, three, and so on all the way down. So now across all of the columns, every record will always be unique because the numbers are never repeated. Each one is different for each row. So if I go up here to remove duplicates and I have all of them checked and I hit OK, it's going to say no duplicate values found. And you may say to yourself, wait, I can see duplicates here and duplicates here and duplicates here. What's going on? Well, it's because your first column all has unique values and they might not be numbers. They could be UUIDs, universally unique IDs. And if you're removing duplicates, you want to make sure that you leave that guy out. Otherwise, this feature is really straightforward. There's not that much else to know about it. You just make sure you have data has headers checked if you have headers. Otherwise, you get generic column ABCD not very helpful. And you can click select all and unselect all. So play around with it until you get some nice slicing and dicing of your data set. And if you mess anything up, just hit control Z to undo it. Now, if you just want to go back and forth between your data set, so where you see this and you see that, you don't need to delete duplicates here and there. What you could do is maybe you just want to do a filter. So you click anywhere in your data set and then go up here on the data tab and click filter. 
and you get lots of options down here. Click the arrow, and what you see automatically is a list of all of the unique values only down here. So this might be all that you need. Maybe you don't need to delete the duplicates just to see this list. This can tell you everything you need, and then you can uncheck select all. Maybe you only want to see blue, green, and gray. Hit OK. You get to analyze the data that you want, and then hit Control z to back up. So deleting duplicates might not always be what you want to do. The filter has a lot of great tools, so definitely play around with this if you're trying to slice and dice your data. But now let's get back to deleting duplicates. I'm going to remove the little filter buttons, and let's go to the Helper Column tab. Now what we're going to do here will work in any version of Excel, but it is not the macro example. What we're going to do is we're going to build a helper column. Helper columns are great for analyzing data. And if you do complex analysis, they should be one of the first things that you go to because you can do so much with them. The sky is the limit. So you can make whatever formulas you want as complex as you want here to output whatever values you want, then filter and sort on them and delete whatever is left over. So that'll help you very quickly clean your data and delete very specific duplicates. So let's say that you only want to delete everything that is type A and red. So in the helper column, you could do this using a filter, but it could get more complex. It's a little bit difficult for a filter. So let's just go with a formula example. So let's say equals and this guy equals red and this guy equals A. Close it up copy it down, and we have some trues, and it looks like only one true. So what I could do here is just click filter, go here, uncheck select all, check true, and then just select this data, right click it, and go to delete row. Delete entire sheet row, sure. So I have no data to the right, so it's not going to mess anything up, but you want to be careful of that. Then we can take the filter off and see that the first row is gone. So we used to have going down to 14, now we only have up to 13. Now let's say that you wanted to delete everything that occurred more than, let's say, three times. So I'm going to delete the helper column, let's go up here, and we will do a count if for our range, and we'll do it on color, go down, F4 for the dollar signs, criteria, we will make it this guy, enter, and fill it down. Now let's pop up a filter and let's make it anything that's three or higher since that's the highest number. <laughs> Go down to number filters, let's say greater than and let's just say greater than two. Okay, so this is everything that occurs more than two times and that's my criteria for killing these guys. So let's select everything, right click, delete the row. I'm going to delete the entire sheet row because I have no data to the right of it, no worries. And then we can go ahead and clear the filter and see that we have this data left over. And that's the benefit of the helper column. I haven't done anything with the actual data over here. Everything is still left intact, well, except for what was deleted. But I didn't change any of the source data. The helper column, that's all that we did. That's all that we changed. And that means that if I made a mistake over here with a formula, it's not going to mess up the original source data. So helper column is key helper column is life. Go for a helper column. It's going to really help you sift through your data sets to analyze it. I'm not going to cover anything else for the helper column, but you can make it as complex as you wanted to. You could say, hey, I want to delete everything that is green if today is the second Sunday of the month. So you could make a formula that would do that and then output true or false over here in the helper column, then filter by it and delete all of those values. So really, the sky is the limit with your friend, the helper column. Now let's go take a look at the final tab, old versions. So here, we're just going to use a macro. And what this macro is going to do is just delete duplicates. It's a very basic. It's more basic than what we did on the first tab over here. So it's just going to delete duplicates. You just click in the desired column for which you want to check duplicates and remove them. And then you run the macro. This macro does assume that you have a header row above all of your data. So let's say we want to do the color, just click in here, Alt F8, the name of the macro, delete duplicate rows, run it. And it's going to tell you duplicate rows deleted six, and they have been deleted.
So now we have only unique colors. Now the big thing with macros you must remember is you cannot undo it. So I hit Control-Z right now, nothing happens. So if you make a mistake with the macro, it's a mistake you're going to have to live with unless you don't save your workbook. But it is a really cool macro. You see it works really, really easy, and it's included in this workbook. So download the workbook, take the macro, use it, and make your life easier. So what I'm going to do now is just open up the macro and show you where it is. I'm not going to go through it line by line, don't worry. So hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window and go over here. It's the Project Explorer window right here, Control R. And you'll see this window, so open up Modules and Module 1. And here is the macro. Just select everything, copy it, paste it in your workbook, and you're good to go. I have a few comments, but not that many. So it works exactly how I showed you in the worksheet, and I'm not going to go over it line by line, but I do want to talk about some of the cool things that this macro has. So this macro does have an error handler here, and the cool thing about that is if there is an error anywhere in the macro, it's going to automatically go back down here and turn on or reset everything it turned off. So it's going to turn off calculations at the top to speed it up. It turns it back on down here. Screen updating, same thing and then the status bar will be reset. As well, it does have a status bar. So if you have a lot of deletions and a lot of data, it's going to tell you processing row and the row it's processing. And it will update it every 500 rows here. I think that's pretty darn cool. That's something that a lot of macros do not have. And let's see, this also uses worksheet function to check for duplicates. That's another little trick in your macros. You don't have to use just VBA functions. You can use straight up worksheet functions like count if to make your life a little bit easier. And I think that that is all that I wanted to talk about for this macro. I do like how it tells you how many duplicate rows were deleted, by the way, and it keeps track of that with the variable in. So it is a nifty little macro. It only works on one column at a time, and it assumes that you have headers. It's not terrifically versatile, but you could take this and expand it to work for multiple columns or whatever data set that you want. And it doesn't just have to do count if. It can do really complex things that I just talked about for the helper column. You could put that here in the macro itself. So I think this could be a very good starting point for you to build out macros to remove duplicates from your data set or just use it for older versions of Excel. But for this tutorial, that's all there is to deleting duplicate rows for all versions of Excel, using a helper column, and in the new version of Excel with the feature on the data tab right here for delete duplicates or remove duplicates. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.